to go unless you step all over until they get it. And yes, when you do it, that's the most mistake. Okay, I'll go do my afterwards. Recording. All right. Sorry, the people in front. <laughs> okay, so let me repeat. What you do is in the in the beaker, you add in all the wax. You add in all the sweet almond oil from here. And then you put it into your pot with the boiling water to double boil it until it melts totally. For those who are not using pot, you use microwave, same thing. Don't let it boil. So start with like 20, 30 seconds here and there. It's very little wax only. Once you finish melting, you stir it. You add the capsule. Snip off the top part and then drip about three drops of vitamin E in it. It's a vitamin E. Three drops, stir it. And then if you want essential oil, you can add in about one to two drops of it. Add in, stir again. And then pour it into your lipstick gloss tubes. Fill it to the top. Okay, once you finish that, you can put you have some extras, you can put it into a small little container for you to use usually with your fingers. And if you want to wait for a while, you can put it in the hot water. Okay, so it's quite easy for this one. We made it as easy as possible already. Let's see. So this lip, lip gloss we have today are all actually vegan because we do not have any, we didn't use bee wax. We didn't use um, other things except, no, vegan stuff. Do you know what is the wax made of? Is it soy? Oil, yes. And then the oil, what oil is that? Sweet almond oil. And then the little dropper is vitamin E? Yes. Thank you. That's, yeah, that is pure vitamin E. So parents can just eat the capsules too <laughs> for the vitamin E. Now you gotta put it aside and make sure that it doesn't topple over. I'm gonna move it to the side. It will take some time for it to harden, so I'm gonna put it aside first. Okay, and then we can go on to the next one. I'll put it on the side. We'll come back to this later. I'm going to bring over my tray and baking sheet. And make sure you keep this your... Thing oh, the blue thing The blue thing. The blue one. Wait for us, not yet. Moving on to the next activity? Yes, we're going to go on to that while we wait for the first one to solidify. Okay. Yeah, and move it away from the, your working table area because you don't want to, you don't want the spray to get on it. Auntie Joan, how much do we pour in each uh, bottle thing? To the brim. So if you are going to move away from here, it's good to just move somewhere else and then fill up to the brim. Those who want to do this one outdoors, you are welcome to do so too. So this is easy. We remove the sand from the loop. After we fill it up, what are we supposed to do? You fill it up and then you leave it at the corner on the side for it to, for it to harden. Yeah. You know it's hardened once it becomes opaque. Okay. Yeah, so we have the spray and we have this. So this spray, you can use it later for other things, for your bags and stuff if you want to make it more waterproof. Before we you start, can use it for your shoes also. We yes, correct. Shoes. shoes, bags, 
jackets. Yeah, we are gonna test it out first. I'm not. I'm gonna show you. I'm testing out first. Okay. So I'm putting it in a corner here. I'm gonna shake it well before I spray it. Okay. And I'm gonna let it dry. You can do that on your on your on the baking sheet and stuff. It's down here from mine. I'm waiting for it to dry. Okay. Auntie Joan, what kind of essential oils can we put? Um, anything actually. Anything that is ingestible, your parents should know. You can put love. Oh yeah, they're not home, is it? Okay, let me see what's in mine. And I will let you know. Can try lavender. Hmm. And lavender is keep and lavender. There's lavender, maluluco, and young lavender. I have mine. I have um, what? Philipsis. I have rosemary, pe uh, peppermint, uh, clear sage, um, cider wood, and lavender. Generally, um, lavender will be the overall. It's safe for kids as well. Not yes. as spicy as peppermint. You can try geranium as well. Can Can you show um, Auntie Joan and Auntie Vivian your bottle of essential oil first? Okay, the rest you can go and okay, everybody go and get an A4 size of uh, A4 paper or any paper, a newspaper can do too. We're going to test out, okay? So you can take a drip of water, some water, put it on top of your wrap, uh, yeah, spread it across your paper. You can see that it gets wet, correct? And now taking another PC. Mine can, you can look, you can see through it already. It's getting wet. So on the other piece of paper. Auntie Joan, can we put lemongrass oil? Yes, you can. If you, are, if you like the smell of it, you can. So on now, on another piece of paper, you, sp you spray on the paper, across a little bit more. Okay, and see mine is transparent right now because of the liquid that was sprayed on it, but it's slowly disappearing because it's drying up. Quick, it's a quick dry. Yes, yeah, it's a quick dry if you don't spray too much. So to spray it, you, you leave it away like about 20, uh, 15 to 20 meter, uh, centimeters away. So not way too close. Okay, so mine is dried already again. And I'm going to drip water on it this time. Okay, you can see the water is, look at that. It's not being absorbed into the paper at all. And yeah, see that I can, I can actually move it to the other side too. See that? It doesn't absorb because the layer, they have a layer of phlegm. It's like plastic after, layer. Auntie Joan, after we have um, poured the lip balm inside the liquid yes. inside the, what are we supposed to do? You leave it at the corner at the side, away from your a second project. Then we leave it there for it to harden. What are we supposed to do in the second project? Second project, take two pieces of paper. One piece, you will be wet it with water and see what happened. The other piece, you spray the uh, spray on it first. The water waterproof spray, you spray across it, and then you add water on it and see whether it is actually absorbed into or not. See, for mine, it's not absorbing in there; it's just floating on the top. And if you want it even clearer, you could just spray after it dries, you spray about two more times. So I'm letting it dry again first. It's very cooling. It's actually almost like a layer of a glue on top, the kind of feeling. 
Okay, so I'm doing my third layer now. So I'm waiting for it to, to cool off again. You can test it on a piece of cloth too. It's quite fun. Okay. So I'm going to put a bigger drop of water. There you go. After three layers of it, you can see I can move it around. So this is a fun project if you want to do maze games. So what you can do, you can get a marker. Let me get a marker. You can do in a marker, and then you can draw your own maze. Draw a border. Then you have a starting point, like I have a start here. And then I can draw a maze. Say, let's say I can only go this way now. Okay, so if I draw a maze, like this, I have a start, I have an end, and then you make sure you spray the entire paper with enough spray to cover everywhere. It's just not only spray in the middle, now I'm going to spray around the sides too. This is my second layer on the side. And my third. Waiting for it to dry. Did you do any maze you want to show me? <laughs> okay, mine's all dry again. I'm going to add water in it. I'm putting water at the start point. So what you can do is, then you can try to control the water droplet from the start to the end. Oops, there you go. Oops, I just went past the line. So 
But if you want it more obvious, you can actually color your water as well. Then it'll be clearer when you play the game. And it went out. Yeah, I'm bad at this. <laughs> Auntie Jo. Yes? Something else that the spark your whole paper with it, and you put the water, some tiny little water droplets everywhere, and put a big one. Then you use your big one to try to collect the small one. That's right. That's another game you can, do, you can work on. Yeah. Yep. These games are good for you for everybody actually, because it helps to learn how to control your hands, how much to tilt it towards. Okay, so I'm going to end mine here. You can play this later. Bye-bye. Okay, Colin, I need help. Can you fill up water to 100 ml, please? Yeah, I'm, I'm using the 100 ml beaker for, for this project, so I'm getting Colin. I'm getting help from Colin. Yeah, Colin, thank you. What about 100 ml? Normal water? Yeah, normal water. Oh. And just normal tap water. Okay, I'll just take it from the alkaline. Yes, thank you. Sure. Just the minimum is 100. That about there. Close to 100 is fine. So I have my water. I put it aside first. So I can get ready. Now I'm going to choose a color, okay, for my scent. Oh, okay. Before that, let me get ready and pour another. Okay. Okay. See, so I have two cups of water. For the first cup, I'm going to show you what happens to the sand. Okay, I don't really like black, so I'm going to use black first, okay? I'm going to use my black color pack. Yeah, so I cut on my black color sand. Open it up and pour into one of them. What do you think will happen? What, hap what do you think will happen when I pour the sand in? The water. The okay, let's see, okay. There you go. Oh, it went in there. There you go. See? Correct? Auntie John, what if we put the thing over the water, then we put the sand? That's a good idea. You can try it out. Go we'll try it out. You should see a flim of a layer of flim on top. Can we of choose any color? Yes, you can choose any color. Is that the fifty ml or the hundred ml? Um, we're using the hundred ml. You can use any one. You can just use a cup too. Okay. So someone asking, right? What happens if we spray on top of the water directly? So let me do that. Let me clear, clear up my cup first. Okay, Colin, can you help me again, please? Um, wash, this at the, wash this at the sink, and then same thing, about the, um, lesser than 100 this time. And no, because I want to put my finger in it. Okay, so I will use this first. Okay, like Vader said, we're going to test it out, okay? What happens if you spray the layer on top? I'm doing that right now. Okay. You'll find there's a layer of phlegm. It's like a bubbly layer forming. You can see that. So it's no longer clear. It looks translucent right now. Compared to the side, see the side is clear. The top is now translucent. Thank you, Colin. Second layer. Uh, 
then I'm adding my third layer. Okay, where is my Sarah from just now? Ah, over there. There you go. Okay, so you can gently use a hand and touch the surface when it's dry. It's very cold. You touch the side, it's very, very cold. And when I try to touch it, look, nothing. There's nothing on top. It's dry. Don't press too hard. <laughs> And if I use my stick to lift it up, let's take a look. Look, there's a layer on top. I can remove it easily. There you go. And this layer is what is giving you the waterproof layer. Helping me? Okay. I'm starting my next month soon already. I think so. Yes? So, so we uh, put other color no, the same. No. We put waterproof will be floating. See, yeah. he, waterproof, he waterproof the sand and he put it into the water and it's floating on the yes. speaker. Oh, that is, that is what we're doing next. So it's floating. Yeah, so the next one, you choose any color of a sand. I'm going to use purple just because it sees better. Okay, let me, it's red. Okay, how about that? I will use red instead. And you're going to spread it onto your baking sheet. Look at, I did not know. My head is purple. <laughs> yes, you are right. It's fun, right? So you spread the sand out and then you spray on over it. Yeah. And then you can move it around after a while and then you spray again. So it doesn't stick on to the, to the paper at all or to each other. Spread it out. Do it about three to four times. Waiting for it to dry a little bit. Yeah, so once you're ready, you can try to sprinkle your sand in it, in there. Or just pour it in. Okay, it's floating.
And once you do that, you can try putting your finger in it. And you can see, can you see the sand and my finger in there? And when I lift up my finger, then it will still be dry. And the sand is still dry. See, when I, when I put it back on the paper, it is still very, very sandy and dry. So why, why, is, it called, why is it called hydrophobic? Can anybody tell me? Water fill. Yes. We're afraid of something. We're phobia or something. We're afraid of something. Correct? Hydro is water. So, afraid of water, right? So, it's afraid of water. And it doesn't like to be mixed with water. Hydrophobic. And this project... Even our, bo yeah? even our body is full of water. Yes. Do you know, okay, Constantine, do you know what in our nature life that also has waterproof things around? What are waterproof in our nature life? In the nature? Leaves. Correct. Water plant. Yes. Leaves, at the top of a lay, leaves that lay on top of it is also waterproof. You are right. Say, I'm going to throw this away. Okay. Now you can clean your hand. If you are done, I'll wait for you, don't worry. And I'm going to just bring back our lip gloss. There you go. And let me just wash my pot and get some more water in it first. Okay, so on your for your lip gloss, I think some of you will figure out there's a little sink sinking part in the middle. So the middle is sinking in a little bit. And that part can be fixed easily by you boiling your water or melting your, your remaining wax. And then pouring on top again. Okay, so that part is easy. I'm bringing back my remaining wax, trying to melt it first before I pour it on top. Okay. Done. So what I'm doing now is I'm just adding some more wax in it so that it will cover the indent on the top.
for rotting, the water is on your side. If you are afraid and put in the kitchen, I'm done with it. Okay, now I'm waiting to harden again. can see that. The hydrophobic project, we thank um, Raiders mommy Vivian for suggesting. She suggested that and then we made it happen. Thank you for making it happen. You're most welcome. I think it's more fun to make our own than to just buy the sand. So you can try it out on your bags, your cotton bags or your shoes if you want it waterproof on the bottom layer, the bottom half. Because we also need to realize that when we add hydrophobic, um, so-called waterproof spray on it, it also means that the air cannot get through it. Meaning the air will be trapped in there as well. So it's a one time. It's a one way thing. That one is it. Yeah, so it will also mean that you no, know, if it's an entire shoe, you'll purify it warmer. Can we spray it on our hands and legs so it don't get wet? When it's a rainy day. You can too, then your pores can't breathe too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mine's almost ready here. Yeah. So you can see that. Oops. Okay, this one is not fully dry yet. That was me hoping that it's drying. But it's okay. Clean up. Okay, I had to wait for a little bit longer. So the side, they can just wipe it off. Whoops. And one just collapsed. Okay. I need to top it up now. That's where the extra one comes. There you go. You can try it too. Now it's cooler. You can actually put a drop on your hand. It's warm. Then you let it harden. Just waiting around. You can test it also by touching on to the wet wax and then rub it on your own hand. And we also know where wax is waterproof like the hydrophobic sand. So it will actually keep the moisture of your lips as a layer of protection. Yeah. So it is how it will feel on your lips. So you can also apply some on the lips now and see how it feels. Now, 
Lip balms are not just for females, for males too. That's why they are colorless. Okay. And you can smell it. It has a very nice smell if you put some essential oil in it. One, two, three. Uh, Jonah. Yes. If you want it to be colored, how do you do, how, do you know how to make it colored? Yes, uh, you can use a uh, colored, um, like uh, cocoa, uh, cocoa butter. Uh -huh. Cocoa butter that are colored like um strawberry uh, like no um chocolate okay yeah those pinkish chocolate will be the, uh, one of the best way to do it you can just add a small piece of it and then it will change color this will become the chocolate flavored lip balm yes correct she's like she can't stop applying her lip balm now <laughs> yes but this is this is safe so it's fine yeah, it's alright. <laughs> we'll get we'll get um from you where to buy the wax and all later. Uh, okay, I have tons of it at home because we are doing other things with the wax stuff. Oh, okay, because she she has very dry uh, lips and she hasn't been willing to use lip balm until today because ah. it's so big. So we'll make more for her. Yeah, if you want to just ask me and I'll pass you, I'll pass you a set of it. Okay. I'll pass some some of it. Tell me roughly how many. Okay. Um, you just need to find your own tubes and stuff. If you okay. need a tube, then tell me too. I can just get your lips. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, I go against using uh, Mika for coloring because I do not like minerals um, on the skin for anybody, even for like exactly for children. So usually you use food color or you use chocolate colors. Because chocolate is similar to what we are doing with the lip balm too. Okay, this one is totally dry. So you can see here. Okay, the sun. There you go. So I create a little, a little speed, a little bump on the top. For this one. Yeah, this is slightly flatter. And this one too. So how you use it is simple, usual. So you just twist the bottom. Then you'll push it up. See that? So you turn it, it'll push it up. And then you rotate it, it'll go down. The hardness of the lip balm can be adjusted with how much more oil or less oil you put in to be softer or harder. So once you are done, you cover it up. And if you want to give people as gifts, that's what the boxes are for. The boxes are for you to fold it up and make into a gift box. So you can just drop it in. It's the exact height. And you have a gift box. Everybody's boxes will vary because it's a mixture. Okay. So this is our first project, lip gloss. To keep, to use or to give on your choice. And don't bother going for expensive classes outside because it is not that expensive, okay? <laughs> okay, last one, magic. Anybody want to do magic? Yeah, I'll, give, I'll wait for you for a while to clear up a table and stuff before we start this. Uh, 
and I'm going to clean a beaker again because I'll need it. I need the water. About half a beaker of water will do. The reason why we are using beaker right now is just because it's clearer for us to see things. But in normal life with your friends, you can just use a normal bowl, okay? Then they cannot see. How much water? Just about half or lesser is fine. Thank you. Yeah. So when you're doing it with your friends, you don't use uh, you can use normal bowl and it will not be too obvious. You can start the easiest. Easiest is this pack, ice, fake ice. So the fake ice is here. And then you just pour it into the water. All of it, John? Yes, all of it. Please slow down. Yeah, don't worry. <laughs> I will slow down. Yeah. If I'm too fast, you can always let me know, okay? And the best way to let me know is unmute yourself because I don't really check the chat except once in a while. Um, while everyone is waiting, can I just uh, say something? Yes. Uh, from next from next week's uh, science explorer session onwards, please um, label your your name so that we can identify you. Thank you. Thank you, Joan. What? Yeah. What happened? Oh yeah, that's the one. That's the that's the fake ice. Oh. What's next? Yeah, so you pour it inside it's and you turn it sideways. You can see it's quite transparent, right? Yeah. So and you see the color is slightly yellow. So what you can do in next time, you can try adding things like um, orange juice or any other drinks that water has has color over it, and you put it in the bowl so no one can see below. So what you can do, you can show them, oh, you know, you pour ice, you pour, put a few real pieces of ice until it melts. And then you show them, oh, you know what? Let me show you. No, there are still some more ice in there. And then you scoop up and, sit and tell them, there. No, there are still some more ice in there. Okay? It's a visual, it's a visual trick thing. <laughs> so during science co-op here, we show you. No, it looks very similar. But when you play with your friends, you put some colored, colored water in there with some real ice and let it melt, okay? And it goes, ta -da -da, see, there's still more ice, see? I show you. Because usually they will, they will connect ice as floating. So when there's no more floating ice, you'll think there's no more ice around. So this will, this will trick them. Yes? Auntie John, is this edible? Yeah. This is not edible. Please not eat it. It's for you to reuse and create create tricks with your friends, not for you to. Thanks, Raider. <laughs> that was right, close. So this is, I don't like that, edible things. Yeah. So that is the easiest, and then second second ones we're gonna do this ring. I think some of you have done this before. Anybody did this before? Did what? Not yet. The ring is quite fun. It's a trick. 
John, for the mm -hmm. ice, when we're done, do we just pour the water and... Um, yeah, just dip it dry. Yeah, just dip it dry or leave it to dry, that's all. Okay. Yeah. So I think this trick, some of you have done before, correct? So what happened is I'm going to put this in and then I'm going to drop it. Look, it didn't fall. Okay, I'm going to do what, yeah, I'm going to repeat a few times. Don't worry, okay? I'm going to show you and then you can figure out why and I'll show you why after that. So I'll put it further away. Okay, the red color is better. So I put it up here. I slot it in from the bottom. See that? Bottom, right? And then I drop it. Oh, this one didn't work. Hang on, sorry. Up, and then I drop it. Okay. The first one worked, wait. It's me. And, okay. Try again. There you go. Now this one works. Okay, did anybody figure out how, how it worked? I just did it the second time and it worked. And do you know how to do it? Why it happens? I don't it, know. I just drop it down and it just tangled down. Aha, uh -huh. okay. Okay, let me make sure you straight you first. Wait, 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 no. Let me straighten it up first. Okay. It is an angle thingy. Okay. It worked just now. It should work by right, but somehow. Okay, let me get the angle correct. And then I'll show you exactly. There you go. It worked again. <laughs> okay, so the trick is it needs some practice. And it has to be at the exact angle. So let me show you, okay? So from the side view, you hold this way, right? See that? And then you put the ring inside to the top, right under there. Do you see that my finger is underneath there, blocking the way? See, my, th my finger, my third finger here was actually blocking the way. It's blocking it in an angle corner like this. So when I drop it, it will hit this and then it will flip and then it will, it will actually lock together. I Got it? it. <laughs> yeah, so you let it hit on it and then it will flip sideways. Okay, let me show you. And then this will fall down and then it will go through the hole, wait, too fast. So it turns sideways and this will fall in to the middle of here. And then it will lock it up this way. So your finger needs to hit that knuckle of yours at the corner. Up oh, again. It has to be a specific angle. There you go. Now it's correct again. So, okay, the challenge is that you don't, you do not want it to overflip. Yeah, because if it hit too much and it overflip this way, it will fly all the way there, turn around, and then it will slip off and unlock itself. So it needs to be just a half turn this way. And then it will slide down and then still stay inside there into the loop and falls into the loop. So it's just a small corner of your of a knuckle. There you go. So just very small corner of the knuckle here, sideways, like a triangle. Okay, see? So, so when I hold it this way, 
if it's flat, I realize it doesn't work. So if you put at a corner right here to hit it here, it works better or faster. Yeah, don't worry, it takes a few times for you to get the idea of it before you can repeat over and over again. Yep, it does. I just started on the second time. And yeah. I got over and over again. Good. Because you got the idea, right? Anybody having trouble with that? I did it. I did it. You did it? it? I did it. You want to show us? No, just look. Yes? Oops, wait. Okay, you want to show us the whole thing? From the beginning? Yeah, yeah show us from the beginning. Okay. Untangle it and try again. I need help to untangle it. Wait. Hang on. Hang on. Yeah, Joshua's part is correct. Idea is there. Okay. Okay, you're ready? Okay, show us from the top. Can I see your finger? I cannot see your finger on top. Okay, uh, Constantine, look, the trick is that you have to bring it up to the top and see this? I'm holding it in between my fingers here and my third finger down here. See that? See my two fingers, one and two is here holding this. My third finger is underneath here. Okay? So you put it in the middle and then you let it hit onto the knuckle. Then it'll flip halfway. There you go. <laughs> okay, we already got it again. <laughs> Need practice. Yeah. Performance yeah, yeah. over. Right. Raider, you can you can send me a video later that for the entire thing. I'll put online for you. And if you have if you have a magician's hat, you can wear it too. <laughs> or cape too, okay? <laughs> okay, so same thing. Middle. Six. Oh now this one didn't work. Terrible thing. There you go. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a physics trick. It's science. Okay. So I'm gonna put this away. And we're coming to the next one is this. It says hell smoke, it's just smoke, okay? And we will need either a lighter or you'll need um matchsticks. And your tray. Okay, Colin, I can on this and turn it off again. I'm going to turn off my fan here. Okay. I need to turn off my fan so that it is not going to put out my fire. We need lighter or matchstick, and we need a pair of scissors and your pack. You can open up this pack, take out this small piece here, and I'm only going to cut out a small piece, okay? Maybe about one cm or one and a half cm. Cut a small piece out of here. Parents can help with this. We're gonna set it on a fire and put it on the board. We let it burn. So once it finished burning, you take something to remove the layer without touching the bottom. Got it? So on the bottom layer, 
you'll find that there's some oily stuff on it. And you use a finger and rub it on your hand. And then you rub on it. See, you can see smoke coming out of it. See, there's smoke coming out of my hand now. There you go. See that? So it's that little, little oily stuff you see in there, okay? Pick it up with your fingers and then rub it again. There you go. Joan. Yes. What number do you see, Joan? I, I saw some numbers coming out from it. <laughs> no numbers, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so to reuse, you just need to cut another small piece to create that oil layer. Okay, I'm gonna repeat one more time. So same thing. A cut of small piece. I'm gonna put it up here so you can all see. I'm gonna burn this. And then continue burning it. Once it's done, and remove the piece. There you go. Move on to my computer. Hang on, come back. Okay. Then you left the oily part of it. Okay. Oily part, index finger and thumb, or even one will do. Put it in the middle, and then you rub it slowly. Rub the oil against each other. There you go. Then you have smoking fingers. Yeah, there you go. You can see the smoke. And don't worry about the oil. It is not dangerous. It's not hot either. There you go. What's happening when you lose? <laughs> Why does this happen? Why does this happen? It's the oil. Oh, and the friction between the oil itself. And actually, this oil is not normal oil. You know, this piece of paper, you got it here, is the magic. And you can find this on the side of your matchbox. You want the exact size? Later, I'll copy it for you, okay? I'll go and search for it and let you know exactly what it is. But okay. you want to oh, When you I use my cut, it will look like Pari Pari it looks like what? It looks like fire coming out of the car That's fire. Right. It's not. It's the friction of the oil that is against each other. This particular oil that comes out from here. Okay, I can see some of you managed to get it. Yeah, I can see that in Carolyn's part. I can see the smoking fingers. Okay, the last one is going to be quite difficult. So, if you fail on that one, you just need a lot of practice or you can just skip this one, okay? okay let me turn on my fan again. It's getting pretty hot. 
in my house. Hey, I'm back. So the last one we have is we need this and we can you can use a different string just to show yourself how it's being how, how it works first okay i'm going to use a thicker thicker thread thicker string if i can get it out okay there you go okay so i'm getting a long piece of string that can, you can see, if I use transparent, you can't see at all. Some of you have what are the transparent white one, some of you has a black one, They're about the same. Okay. So pick up two cards. And you have this piece, the black ones are the same, similar. Okay, it works, it works like a blue tag. For this one, it's more like a Thank wax. you. Bye. See you next time. Yeah, bye. See you. <laughs> yeah. So for this one, the trick is to make a spin. Okay, let me show you the video for this one. Can we I... have only one card. Can we do the trick? I uh, have only one card. Yes. We have this and this. Yes. The other card is actually because the back of that second card is illusion. There's a spiral on yours. Yeah. Okay, so. But... Yes, but it's any okay if you have only one like this. Yes, it's fine. Yeah, okay. you should. Most of you have the same as what Carolyn has, except a few of us. I think there's only three of you has slightly different cards. That will be Raider, um, Constantine, and Joel. Okay, let me find the. Okay, where is? Let me just find. Joan, this is uh, Joey. Uh, I think we are missing our set of cards, you know, from uh, this, this deck. Uh, you have some. It, uh, the set of cards arrived yesterday with your stuff you collected. Oh, okay, okay. I'll go there and look for it. Right Thanks. there. And yours is the white version with three cards. Okay, I haven't unpacked the black ones. Okay, thank you. Welcome. Okay. Let me find. Okay, this is the one. Okay. Where is my. Okay, there it is. Okay, let's watch this, okay? Can watch first. So you have the cards, you have some um, some elastic strings on it, and you have a pack of this ones here, okay? You don't have to follow him right now, you can just watch.
呃把一头粘在这个扑克中间，我这个是用粗的代替，所以看的比较明显一点，粘在扑克中间。这个引线比较长，我们取取一段能表演就行。这个比较长。呃，表演的时候，通常我都喜欢这样，就是这样这样子，到这个位置差不多，然后把这个线这个地方把它给剪断，剪断，然后粘在一顶上面，用魔术蜡粘也行，或者用双面胶粘也行。我先把它绕一下，这样子先演示一下。我把线挂在这里演示一下，啊，这个时候这个扑克牌就在中间这个地方，这个黑色引线跟那个透明弹力引线一样的，弹力引线是有弹力，你可能扑克牌这样的晃，它上下弹力比较大，黑色引线弹力不足，所以就是说，黑色引线可能，嗯，白天表演比较好，弹力引线可能晚上表演比较好，这个根据自己的习惯来表演。那表演的时候，我们把这个扑克牌这样去转动，这样去转动，这样去转动，然后手去做一些动作，啊，一定要平衡一点去转动，可以去做很多那些动作，就这样子，转动，也可以这样子，从一只手转过来。当你去往一个方向转的时候，可能转的多了。这个几天应该比较细，稍微断。我们一定要，比如这个方向去转，表演几次，我们再反方向去转，再反方向去转，不要总是一个方向去转。这样的话，这个几天毕竟很细，它容易断。这个几天黑色几天一根跟蜘蛛丝差不多，很细很细，但比蜘蛛丝结实结实很多啊。就是呃，要这样子转，转再反过来转啊。很多那些动作的话，我们可以就是。自己去任意发挥啊，怎么样都可以。Okay, got the idea of that, right? I don't even understand that. Don't worry, I'm explaining it. So, <laughs> okay, so we have the string. I'm going to use the, the, the thicker string that I have as well, so it's clearer. And if you find it difficult, just use the thicker ones. Uh, Raiden, Joel, uh, Joy, Joel, uh, Joey, and Constantine part, you will, yours will be thinner and it's a white one. You can replace by using normal thread, uh, sewing thread. Okay, so just test it out. So you take any card, just any card, find the middle. Then you take some of your wax. Pinch up some of your wax here. And then you just keep on pressing on it until it gets softer. Okay. Let me get a bit more because I'm using thicker. Okay, we soften it up so it gets sticky enough to stick onto the card. So in the middle, stick across. See what I did was that I press it over the cross and then I make sure the middle part is right in the middle. See that? So I press it down this way. So you can actually hang it easily. Okay. If it's not in the middle, then you can replace it and then until it gets to the middle part of it. So it can balance well. There you go. Okay. There you go, and you can try. You can try someone holds the top and then you try to spin it and see if it works. Okay, the first part got it right. And on the other end, what you do is you put it over your neck. This way until where your hand height is at. So it's easier for you to figure it out. To play with it, it's easier when you lean forward, okay? 
So if I lean forward, see, it'll be in front of me already. So if this is where you want, you take another wax and you stick it down to your clothes too. Oh. Yes, I'm going to soften my wax. And I'm going to adjust the height. This is where my hand is comfortable at. And then I'm going to stick it in my shirt on my shirt okay so from there okay, let me figure out the height okay i want it shorter so it's here then from here if you then yes Bye bye. Yeah. Bye. So you can actually just spin it, and you can you can see it spinning, right? And if you're using the uh, elastic thread given, you can spin more. Mine is not for this one, so it spins. And then when you are spinning, that's when you put your hands in between here to show like it's actually levitating in the middle, and you can move it around. So with a hand, you know where the string is. You put, can move it anywhere you want to. Or if you can remove your hand and put sideways, it will spin this way. So actually, you're not touching anything. It's always hanging by the string. So you see? So you can spin and it goes, oh, that is flying. It's, no, it's spinning. Okay, now I'm going to try using the... Elastic, very, very thin ones, okay? Okay, I'm gonna use the super thin ones. Super thin ones, there are actually many, many threads in there. So you can just peel out a few. Radar, radar side, you don't have to because yours is already done for you. Always got tangled up. <laughs> yeah, they, they roll it in a cut so that you no, know, they hopefully when you take it out, it doesn't mm -hmm. entangle. If you need more of the thread, you can come and pick up at my house. Let me know. I think we need like it's all tangled up. Yeah, I have, I have, so it's okay. It's the same thread they use for jewelry, so Eva, you will have them. Okay. okay. Thank you, Constantine. How oh, did you know my name? I'm trying to pull out the few. Ah, there you go. See, I'm just pulling a, a little piece out of there and hopefully it doesn't break. So a lot of magic are all illusions. It's just how good and how bad they are, right? Yeah, some of them very bad quality. Yeah. You need to practice a lot to be a magician. Like Tessel, the rabbit is there. Mixing the, your own, there's only air. Okay, so I'm done with this one. You see, with the white color thread, it looks like there's nothing.
sorry, John. So the string one part on the card, then the other part of the other on end the of collar. the collar. On the collar. On the opposite side of the collar, going around your neck. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay. So I'm going to... Go around my neck. Oops. Who is that? Can you unshare? Thank you. Welcome. Someone was sharing screen and drawing something on it. I think that was really good. No, it's not. He's very focused right now. Okay. So now you see, my card is kind of, the string is invisible because it's white. Not if you're close by. Okay. I'm going to shorten it some more. I'm trying to find the thread behind my hair. And there you go. Okay, see, so and I'm wearing white, I have a white string. Now it looks like I have nothing right there you see i can move it around if i want i can take my hands and then i can pretend to spin the card if i want and make it spin yeah so you can control it according to yourself when it spins get the idea so while it spins you can move around with your hand yes, I got So the thing is that you need to make sure that it's in the middle so you can spin easily. Okay, and then if you are done, we are done today. <laughs> so now you know the tricks that a magician does, right? In another two more weeks, we will learn a few more things. And everybody, just get your own stuff to be a musician. You, musician. you need. Oh. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out why talking, Constantine. <laughs> Okay. Bye, 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 bye. On it. bye, bye. Okay, see you. Bye. 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 I'm, I'm watching Raider because you can see the entire process over there. <laughs> I cannot see the screen. Bye bye. 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 Thank you. Bye bye. You're welcome. Bye bye. Oh, no, I'm good. No, I'm good. Thank you, Auntie John. Yeah, welcome. Bye. 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 <laughs> what are you doing with her? Does it feel like spider web? I can't play the string. <laughs> If you need more string, let me know. Come to my house and pick it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I drive over yourself. <laughs> I think we got it. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Usually, they take quite a while to practice this. So don't worry, okay? We are all just doing it for the first time.
Yeah, so what they do is they make use of transparent string and they use balance, right? The how to balance in the middle of the card. Yeah. Yes, okay, question, wait. The video is very blurry, yes, the video is very blurry. And I can't do anything of it, it came like this. <laughs> I forgot to take out the string. <laughs> Yeah, Joshua part the, the the magic trick you are doing, sometimes they do it at a science center too. And you know the trick this time around. <laughs> oh you Where's my phone, by the way? Oh, there. <laughs> oh, watch out for me. Oh, 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 Correct. Yeah, it's so near Christmas. But why did you choose soya instead of bee wax? Because to some people, bee wax is not considered vegan. Oh. Yes. So that's so, right. Yeah, so I choose soya so that it's, it's good for everyone. <laughs> and also to, to harvest bee wax is much more um, so-called uh, difficult than doing soil soil wax. Uh -huh. Why is everyone saying yes? <laughs> Joshua, <laughs> Joshua said, leave? everyone leave. <laughs> why? I have no idea. No, I think he's leaving. That's why. That doesn't. If you leave, that doesn't mean other people won't. That one. Okay, see. Colin. It's all right. You're not even Just in the session. <laughs> You finish all your work already? Yes. Okay. Twice as much? Yes, I've already Okay. <laughs> Rada is going. Look at this. Okay, show us again. Go. Go, Rada. Untangle and show us again. I'm having a problem. Because it is quite slippery. I know my nails are not too long. Yeah, I think next time round we get the kids to lock and the people to lock in with their parents' name in front and kids' name behind. Okay, so like for Vivian, you write Vivian, then hash Raider. So I know who the parent and the child are. Okay. Who's screen sharing? Who's screen sharing? Stop sharing. <laughs> Stop sharing. Let me see. I can, okay, I can change that. Okay, I just changed that so no one else is sharing now. Not even <laughs> I know oh. how to share screen. Because there's nothing to share right now. Yeah. I actually, do you know, I actually forgot to press record <laughs> now because I paused it because we logged in too early. <laughs> I think Colin told me, so I press record and I repeat the steps one more time. <laughs> oh, I take a video of you and I send to the SD group. Bye. Use the clock and we'll use the clock. Okay, bye-bye. We send to Auntie Jo. Yeah, then she will post it. Wait, 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 wait.
action. Wait, wait, again. Okay, redo, redo, redo. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. We do, we do, we do. No, no, Sonia, we. Oh, we take. <coughs> Wait for my stick now. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, uh, Jody, I'm going to lock you out because we are done here today. No, don't lock Raider out. No, I'm not Raider. I know you want to talk to him. Okay, remove. Oh. Okay, just be patient. Go smoothly. Let's do one round. Let okay. me try. Okay, today's chat will be shorter, okay? I need to ah. help Colin do his work later. So we will lock off about 12.30. It's not because I didn't do work. Nice. We Continue doing his work. He gonna do twice his work today because tomorrow is very busy. <laughs> and the day after as well. Too yeah. long. Too long. <laughs> then you'll be doing too too low down. I cannot see, right? Stop. Hey Prem, you're looking at stop. Prem, Prem, BB. Oh wait, let me stop recording also. <laughs>